Okay, I didn't film for a couple days because, well, it was boring what I was doing. Um, also, I was just working kind of here and there while also playing with my nephew. Also, because the bus got into such a state of disaster, I was too embarrassed to even film it. And you know that's saying something because you guys have seen it pretty bad before. But yeah, not a single thing was where it belonged. All my, like these were pulled out. These drawers back here were pulled out. Everything was pulled out of my cabinets and onto the counters. It was just really, really bad. But anyway, I finished my wiring. It is done. I'm not doing it anymore. So let me show you what I got. Up here by the driver, we have a USB thingy and one of these, what are these called? Just like, you know, a car, 12 volt plug, the, the standard. And then over in this corner, we have one of these USBs. In this corner, we have a regular AC plug and a USB plug. There's a USB plug in that corner and the one by the bed that I did on the road. Also, take a look at this, you guys. I don't know how much I've even shown that back area, but it's never looked anywhere near that tidy. <laughs> and obviously it still doesn't look that great, but it's probably as good as it's gonna get. I'm happy with it. So, in hindsight, if I was gonna do this all over, I would obviously do a bunch of things differently with the wiring. If I were to ever do something like this again, I would for sure make a, a more detailed plan of, of everything beforehand because I wasted so much wire of like running wires to every individual thing as I was going. I'm not gonna say I regret doing it this way for this build because like I've said before, I bit off way more than I could chew with this and I had to take things like one little bit at a time. It was like beyond my capabilities to have made an entire plan and now that I've done it once and I like understand a little bit what I'm doing, I think I could do it if I did it again, but I don't regret doing it this way this time, which is maybe surprising. <laughs> I'm super glad to be done with that. I'm gonna get back to my ceiling today. Hopefully I can actually install it today. I don't remember, I need to put on two coats of polyurethane and I don't remember how long I have to let it dry in between coats, but I'm hoping I can do both today and get the boards in place. Recoat in one hour, yes. Okay, so we have an hour. They still look so light to me. But hopefully they only look medium silly once I put them up. Honestly, I'm not willing to do anything about it, so <laughs> I feel like I should try to find something productive to do so that I can keep my momentum. Maybe I'll start figuring out the bathroom. I got my tile a couple days ago. It's gonna be good. Look what I got! New water pump. I sent one email saying that it was broken and they replaced it. No questions asked. I'm so excited. doing the exact same thing. Wait, what? Yay! Oh my gosh, yay. Now I can finally clean up my sink. It's been forever. My water hasn't been working since before I got done with my trip, which has been like several weeks now. So this is exciting. Okay, that feels really good to have things like 
somewhat cleaned up in here for the first time in a while. I mean, obviously don't look back here, but whatever. <sighs> I've been having a hard time like choosing one project to tackle and then like actually just tackling the whole thing as usual. I'm thinking the next thing I want to do is finish this. Oops. Whoa, I cannot point in the camera. Finish this, finish this space above the driver. I want to have like a whole shelf cubby thing there. But before I get to that, I ordered, I ordered some stuff for my bathroom. And a couple of days ago, I got this shower pan in the mail and it is gigantic. So I think I might cut it down and not install it, but just put it in the bathroom where it's out of the way um, before I start making even more of a mess up there. So I think I'll do that right now. Okay, scratch that. I was too afraid to cut it, which is a good thing because then I was looking around and realized that I, before I cut it, I need to do some little calculations and make sure I'm getting my drain into a spot where I have room to go through the floor underneath. And I do not feel emotionally prepared to do that today. So I'm just gonna stash it in the bathroom and move on to the front. So I have sort of a plan for what I wanna do here. The new challenge that I'm facing with this is that if you watch my videos where I was building before, you know that I have no idea what I'm doing. And I'm pretty much always just making it up as I go, which normally means like four or five trips to the hardware store in a day. But in the area where I did most of the build, I was just around the corner from Home Depot, where I currently am. Let me check. I'm 10 miles from the closest hardware store. So it's not going to be realistic just to run in whenever I realize I need something. It's also kind of a small hardware store. So depending on the project, hopefully not for this one, but depending on what project I'm doing, I'm probably gonna have to be ordering stuff ahead of time. Uh, so I'm gonna have to be a lot better at the planning during this half of the build. So it's gonna be a challenge for sure. So let me just tell you the vision that I have right now and then we can all find out together how it actually turns out. I have this big space. It also goes down a little bit right here. And then I have these two things here, which curve at the top. Whoa, my gosh, I always think my finger is gonna go with the thing I'm pointing at. It goes in a totally different direction. Curves like this. Oh. Oh my gosh, this is hard. So anyway, so my plan, what I'm thinking is to have two sort of like bracing pieces right here, boom and boom, I'll have to scrape that off. And then attached to those, just one large, pretty flimsy piece of plywood or something to cover the insulation. It's not gonna be any sort of like structural thing. Does that make sense? My reasoning for bumping it out a little bit is because so much of this insulation comes out further than those beams so that I won't have to like try to scrape that all flat. But also so that hopefully I can avoid dealing with this curve as much as possible. If it if I move this forward, I think maybe it'll come up where it's where that curve's not gonna get in my way. Cause I'm just so over these freaking school bus curves. And then I just wanna get like a common board and I'm not sure exactly how I'm gonna support it. I think I'll have to put something underneath it. Attach that here so it'll come out further than this. I think I think the biggest they come in is 12 inches, right? So That'll come out some distance. So then I'll have a back and a bottom. And then this is the part that I really have not figured out at all yet is I'm gonna need to put another piece on the front to do be like the front of the cabinet. The issue is that I don't know how I'm going to attach that. If you watched the video where I put up my ceiling or the one before where I prepared to put up my ceiling, you might remember that not only is my ceiling very flimsy, these are quarter inch tongue and groove cedar, but the pieces that are supporting those are also very flimsy. I think they're even flimsier. Honestly, none of us were expecting my ceiling to even stay up because frankly what I put is really not even enough to be supporting this flimsy ceiling, let alone a hefty piece of plywood or whatever. So I don't know how I'm gonna attach the top, but I guess, I was gonna say I'll cross that bridge when I get there, but that means more trips to the hardware store. I think that's gonna have to do though, because I don't think, I don't have the engineering brain to figure it out ahead of time, you know? Just gonna have to do it as I go. Wow, how quickly my resolution to plan better fell to pieces. I said that other line like five minutes ago. We'll see. But let me just give you my full vision here. In the center here, why can't I... In the center, I saved the old door because there used to be a cubby there originally, just a lot smaller. Let me see if I can find it. So this is the original door that went up there. So I'm gonna clean this up nice and put it up here again in the center. And then I'm thinking I'll also have two smaller doors on the sides here, which means I'm also gonna probably divide it into three sections, which I forgot about. So I'll probably wanna do that before I put the front piece on, right? Oh, wait a second. Okay, that might work. Ah! 
That might work. I think maybe if I attach my dividey pieces solidly to the back, because I think they'll, I think I can make it so that they fall directly on those metal beams. If I do that, then maybe I can just attach the front piece to the side pieces up to the top and then I won't need to attach it into the ceiling. So it sound reasonable or insane? I see no problems with it. You driving the bus? Yeah. Were you going fast or slow? Fast. Fast? Yeah. This bus does not go fast very well. Okay, Bob, I'm gonna make a list of all the things I need, okay? 12 by eight, we need a thin back piece. Seven and a half. Seven and a half? Two by fours. We're going fast. We're probably getting bad gas mileage. So much more effort than I was anticipating. I am so sweaty. All I did was I got these pieces in. I still need to do this side. Um, it's so hot. Um, I think I'm gonna take a break and do like some computer work for the rest of the hot part of the day, and then hopefully I'll be back at it this evening. Does anybody know if there's a trick to getting one of these razor blades? out of the stack because I've just been prying them with my fingers. Seems like that's going to end in disaster someday. I'm running on borrowed time here already. Okay, so let me catch you up too what I've done and what I'm thinking about doing. I've got these support pieces on the back here and here. And then I also just came through and put these pieces on the bottom here. I screwed them up through the bottom. So they're attached. They feel pretty solid. So right now my plan is to get a big board that's going to fit right here and act as the bottom shelf. Cut a groove in it so that it'll fit over this right here and rest on this and then screw it down into these. I was originally planning to like get some L bracket thingies and attach it to this too, but honestly, these don't really feel that solid. So I think it might be better to just use these for the backing piece, not for the shelf. I'm hoping that works. I put quite a few screws down there because I want this to be solid if at all possible because it's a big space and I know I'm gonna be tempted to shove a lot of stuff up there and I want it to be able to handle it, hopefully. So I have no idea if this is gonna work, but I'm gonna try it. I have no better ideas. So the next step is gonna be to go to the hardware store and get actually the bottom piece as well as the front piece. Probably won't do that until a little bit later because I have been stinky since yesterday afternoon when I was sweating so much doing the first part. So I'm gonna maybe take a shower and stuff first. I forgot I also need to put those ceiling boards up first. Well, no, I can put the bottom one in first. Let me tell you about the problem with the ceiling. The reason why this one section isn't done is because, well, as you can see, it wasn't going well pieces I did put in because I'm working with two different curves here. Obviously the curve of the roof this way, but then the roof also like curves up at the front. I'm having a heck of a time getting those boards into place at all, but then I also didn't really put any structure up here to, to fasten them to once they are in place. So a uh, real fail on my part, but you know what? Honestly, I don't really care. I'll make it work one way or another. Okay, so I've been here. I've been back in Utah for like three weeks, maybe close to a month by now. And I've only gotten a bunch of like really tiny things down on the bus. So it feels like I've gotten nothing done. And I made a, a new resolve this morning that now that it's the beginning of September, I'm gonna just like really work really hard all throughout September and see how much I can get done. But it's Labor Day weekend right now. It's Friday of Labor Day weekend. And I'm gonna go on a little girl's trip first. So getting back to work is gonna have to wait until I'm done taking a vacation from my life that is also a vacation. But anyway, we're going camping at Lake Powell. I have never gone to Lake Powell without a boat before. And we're not gonna be bringing a boat. We're just gonna take our paddle boards and explore that way. So this should be really fun. It's gonna be 
super, super hot down there. Um, but luckily, we're gonna be surrounded by water, so I'm excited. But once I get back, look out, projects, I am coming for you. We got time on our side. We're in a state of hope. I need you on my fire. I want you to know that every time you're away, I long for you so much I can find my way. Everything here At least to stay alive And the time that we share Makes it all worthwhile Got this place on Do you feel that like we got something strong? And I saw you Walking the light And the truth 